I mean, it is right here in the heart of downtown and there's so many different people, businesses, organizations that use it. Um, this is a great opportunity to check it out today. It, Rock the River itself, the event, let's talk about it because it's, it hasn't been around that many years, but it's, 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 it's growing in popularity. Yeah, so this year is the fifth annual event. Um, if it weren't for the pandemic, I believe it would be the seventh, but um, it is on Saturday, June the 4th. It starts at 11 to six, um, but also there's other events going on in conjunction with it. One of them being a canoe and kayak race right on the river. So we're utilizing it, um, but also if you, even if you don't paddle it, we're gonna show it to you, um, help you enjoy it, come to love it and protect it. Well, and that's the thing. A lot of people don't use it and, and I think are intimidated by it and, and something like in a day like this events like this help ease some of those, those concerns yeah well i think that um people who don't use or have fear about it just just don't understand it you know and so this is a great opportunity to educate people about how the river works where it goes how you can have fun safely enjoying it or just observe it from a beach or from while you're fishing or other activities that may not be as intimidating to some people because the thing about it is some people will drive hours and hours to enjoy it something that's right in our backyard yeah well the cool thing about it is i mean the watershed is relatively small in comparison to some other larger rivers that you might see in the country but um it has some white water as you might see here um and the local rescue squad who's utilizing that for training today but also downstream a little bit is the fall line and it's flat water out to the chesapeake bay from there so if if the rapids and the moving water scares you just go down about a mile and hang out in the flat water and you can fish there you can wade or swim there and it comes and goes with the tides which makes us you know, like you say that this not many areas have something like this yeah it's so unique and and with the removal of the dam from a handful of years ago um this is free, free flowing you know so sometimes when it rains the water does come up but it also comes back down and so there are lots of local organizations like the virginia outdoor center the friends of the rappahannock river rock outfitter other businesses that keep tabs on it and provide information to people on when it's safe and the different activities that you can enjoy here what, what's your favorite thing to do on the river do you have something that oh, you gosh. do a lot of well kayaking is one of my favorites but i will also i'll raft from time to time i have a raft and i love that because for those who are not comfortable enough to kayak or canoe by themselves, they can join in and it be a group activity. And I can also bring my dog. You spend, I would think with what you do, you spend a lot of time. You spend a lot of time on the river? I do. Um, and certainly in the summertime, I love it because it's warm. I don't have to wear a ton of layers, but also we um, enjoy something that I call dawn patrol, which is I'll come out really early and come and take a lap before I go to work. And so it's a great way to get some exercise, to enjoy nature, um, but also just to remember how valuable this river is for our town. That's interesting. I mean, I'm sure it gives you kind of a different perspective of things. It does. Well, also, you know, you can drive by this river in four minutes, you know, but I'll spend an hour or two out here and you see it from a different perspective. Not yeah. everybody has that luxury to spend time out here and, you know, spend time on the opposite bank or on a rock or a beach in the middle where you can't reach it unless you paddle out there. So, so again, rock the river. Uh, Give us all the details on what, what we all need to know. Yes, of course. So it's at Old Mill Park, which is about a mile downstream of where we're standing now. And it's from 11 a.m. to 6. Um, and it's got so many different activities to enjoy for kids, families, um, adventure people, everybody. So like I said, there's a canoe and a kayak race in the morning, but there's also a trail running race. There's like a scavenger hunt exploration activity, but there's also live music, lots of vendors, food trucks, a climbing wall, ax throwing, face painting, so many activities for kids and families to enjoy. Um, but of course, we also have, in addition to the food trucks and some of those really cool local people, we've got the region's best craft breweries that are gonna be there showcasing um, their products and just something for everybody all day from 11 to six. And in so, in so many ways, it, it, if you don't know a lot about the river, it really is a chance to learn about all the different things you can do. Yeah, well, some of the vendors, of course, are showcasing, you know, and selling different products, but some of them are just nonprofit organizations that do good work here in town, either on the river or in conjunction with it. So you can learn a lot, even if you don't buy a single thing at the event. 